You know what? I feel very, very emotional today. That's why I shall be reviewing that one game that gave me the most emotional damage. Near Automata, everybody. Near Automata. This this game. <laughs> First of all, it made me fall in love with the character, character to be, and and also the whole you know the world building. The world building in this game was just uh, different. It's of course it's uh, post-apocalyptic, but the year, the year as in currently is what in the 21st century. This game takes place in about if I'm not mistaken, 11,000 something. Like that's several thousands <laughs> more like into the future. And usually you would say what uh, 2099, Spider-Man 2099, or 2021, 22, something like that. You know quite. Uh, only a few hundred years this game just cranks up the you know your your counter and goes straight to 11,000 something the, the the year in this game AD of course earth is destroyed uh, they have a base in the moon and a separate uh, what do you call it like a, not a Dyson sphere what is that Star Trek on a Star Trek Star Wars thing what is that called I, I forgot that but that flying base, yeah, it's a flying base. They have a flying base and a base at the moon. I think it was more of a prison, just like uh, Men in Black Part 3. But this game, man, uh, machines have become sentient and so are androids. Androids are the, these characters, human form. So they're androids, so like uh, basically cyborgs, but not quite. Because they're completely 100% sentient, everybody, uh, clearly, even at this present day, the amount, the, uh, amount of progress that AI has made, they're becoming you know, sentient. Now, several thousand years in the future, it's, it's clearly possible. Possible, it, it, it will happen, it's inevitable. So, that's the whole concept of the game. What happens when we, we play as 2B, uh, her name is 2B. What was the designation? Battle. Battle type 2. Yeah, the B means battle. But there's a spoiler warning. She's actually 2E. 2E as in executioner. So 2B slash E. She executes anyone who comes to comes close to know the truth. And what is the truth? Is that the the cycle, the cycle of perpetual cycle of uh, living and dying, even for machines, have repeated several times over. But now, what does that mean? Uh, now, allow me to ruin the story more for you if you were not interested. <laughs> so, if you're interested, definitely I'm gonna ruin the entire series, entire franchise for you. So, yeah, obviously, humans do dumb stuff and humans are extinct. Only the sentient beings uh, remain, as in, I think they started from. The internet, the internet spreads to the all the different technologies, so everything becomes sentient. All the machines become sentient. So therefore, as by law of nature or by what, uh, the equilibrium is uh, broken when machines and androids declare war on each other. So this war is what have, keeps on happening. All right, let's watch the emotional moments, everybody. This is the first. This is the first part. Okay, this is, there are dialogues in this. Uh, video so i will increase my volume is my light on oh my light is off yeah lights on i need to get that clap clap one you know lights on lights off <laughs> talk about all right all right watch this watch this i know what's what i have i definitely know what's gonna happen and sometimes i speak so fast i stumble in my own tongue <laughs> <laughs> make fun of yourself come on make fun of yourself if you can't make fun of yourself when others will make fun of you you will just die out of embarrassment that's a secret sauce that's right I just gave you a life-changing advice a life-changing advice that will that will be more useful to you than learning how to make fire using using two stones <laughs> Alright, the black box. This is the black box strategy, tragedy. Alright, watch this. It's been an honor to fight with you. Even at this point, I thought that, okay, this early on, this scene happens quite early on. Maybe a barely half an hour of gameplay later. Oh no! Boom! 
Did they destroy the world? No. Just a couple of hundred square feet, square meters. And look, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about this. The machines think that they can raise a child, but clearly machines are like, they cannot grow. And AB, uh, what's her name? A2, A2, Assassin Type 2. Her, her name is A2, the long haired one. She's Assassin. So she just, she just comes and kills that so called machine baby. And that's just way so many emotional moments. God, <laughs> ah, I'm reliving this. I'm reliving this. And I gotta give shout out to my cousin who recommended me this game those years later. He said, just, just play this, just play this once. Just play this once. And I was like, okay, whatever, fine. So now I played it and yeah, since then I got hooked. What did these two uh, twins? Popila and I forgot the other one's name. I, I forgot, I forgot their names. I think this is the scene where we are corrupted. Oh, you, you see that? Is it a ribbon? That that ribbon is a DLC. No, no, what do you, what do you call add-on? Costume add-on. Oh, the subtitles are in Portuguese. It looks like Portuguese. I don't know. Oh, there, these are the remnants of the aliens. So eventually, of course, it's in such a far-fetched advanced future there are uh, they found evidence of aliens and even aliens have extinct extinct have extinct have gone extinct extinct kya hota hai? <laughs> oh by the way to be might look sexy she is sexy but she's just a cold-blooded killer right <laughs> so her her sword her full katana it breaks out it's not even like proper katana also so her sword breaks in half and she jams that broken piece right across that uh, Adam guy. Adam and Eve, both are males. They are also separate androids who wants to know the truth. What is the purpose of life? What is the purpose for their sense? Life in their sense. No, oh, let's see. Uh, at this point in the game, a virus, some kind of a virus, have affected. What was this guy's name? I forgot him. 9s 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 has affected 9s and now to be has to kill 9s with her hands as in with using her hands actual hands the, this is a, the, yeah this part even i was like ah this is too much to bear this is too much to bear no this was sadder than the movie taris amin per when uh, his parents leave him at the hostel this is sadder than when hachiko the dog story find uh, waits for his owner to return back this is sadder than 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 the last scene in avengers endgame <laughs> this is sadder than fast and furious paul walker rest in peace paul walker yeah <laughs> uh, this this scene man yeah, see they can cry he, basically all the things terminator they had bad breath uh, sweat bleeding of course they cannot feel any pain as such but all the to mimic the human physique all of them has perfected it look she's crying and by the way they're already sentient so yeah she's feeling sad oh no those are robo tears and by the way uh, what fluid are those tears that is a real question that is a real question I want to know what the robo fluid would be. In Transformers, it was engine oil, the simple regular engine oil. What would this be? Regular human tears contain what? 60% uh, saline. Saline is in salt, salt water. Sirodni. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, I remember this scene. Oh, yeah. Tubi dies, spoiler alert, whoopsie, Tubi eventually dies and whichever the uh, virus that was affecting all these other androids and machines alike, so the, that virus creates clones of Tubi and Ninus has to fight Tubi and of course they loved each other and so like yeah you, you that's the thing, imagine this, the love of your life and you had to, uh, she's dead and she's come back 
she's alive again but uh, she's here to kill you you know so you have to kill her <laughs> that's just too much it's just too much yeah yeah the, this this fight scene i remember man even while i was playing uh, that was emotional it was and, and you have to listen to what they're saying actually no oh, that's the last scene that that's the last one <sighs> to be <sighs> oh, bomb 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 yeah. and this is inside the algorithm what do you call that cloud algorithm yeah. Yeah, those are my memories. You hear me? Oh, look at this. There's no, there's no lack of blood. Look at that. Oh, see that? That's what I'm saying. They're all cold blood, cold blooded killers. It almost felt like a tongue twister. There, there. He was in reality. He was hitting that motherboard circuit something. But inside the memory, it was he was killing to be. There was one more scene where his hand gets crushed. Yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. There, 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 there. It explodes and his hand gets blown off. Also, and guess just beside him, there's a, a remaining clone of to be, not the original one. But I think yeah, when I say clone, it's a clone means that is an exact copy of the original, right? But she's dead. I mean, he killed him. So what he does is he chops off her hand and uh, puts it in his own hand. It's just so good, man. Okay, fan art by Anubis DHL. Shout out to Anubis DHL. That's a sick drawing. And surprising fact, Elon Musk himself, Elon Musket, our humanity savior himself did tweet about to be he just <laughs> said to be and he refused to credit the artist ah that's so good <laughs> elon musk can retweet my uh, my drawings anytime he wants he doesn't have to he doesn't even have to talk to me you know even hey elon that's my drawing right there he would just, just say f you or something <laughs> like i don't care <laughs> but that'd be good that'd be good uh, exposure exposure not exposure That'd be good. See, I respect Elon Musk like, you know, uh, he's, he's like a hero. I, I'm inspired by his work ethic to be above all else. So that's that's how I see him as my mentor. <clears throat> oh, this is the... There, 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 there. 119458 AD. Dang. The 14th machine war. This is the thing. This is the 14th machine war. So one machine war takes place almost every 600 700 years later yeah 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 they're all machines these are the machines as you would say androids are also machines yeah but androids have this uh, physical form of a human and uh, anything else that looks like a tin can are machines they call it machines so this is the machine war is between whom is between machines and androids uh, adam and eve they want to know the truth oh yeah by the way none of them know the truth what is the truth that's the thing that machine war has been going on again and again and again but nobody knows they think it's their purpose yeah think about it the to be didn't know so she's been ordered that you know kill every machine that you see because you are at war so yes yes commander so they go that's the purpose this game heavily implies on what is the meaning of life and at the same time the meaninglessness of life so it's amazing 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 concept day one edition death is your beginning launch trailer let's watch this okay platinum games shout out to platinum games and square enix i forgot the maker of this game what was his name I forgot. And that's not even a katana. I mean, it's shaped like a katana because it has a bend. But it's way longer. <clears throat> Man at arms forged this this exact sword. The, the small one, not the big one. The small one. Whoa. Whoa. 
game play was smooth and i love the thing about this series not, not a series but this uh, near and near automata uh, you can treat them as two separate games like yeah they have like one thin line connection but they essentially take place in different different time zones different time zones different time periods the the camera mechanics like sometimes the camera goes from there there it goes from uh, third person view to suddenly top view and then it, it suddenly changes to a side scrolling view and this is third person that's third person Bam. okay that's a machine worm i remember the machine there there there, there. this one this one you see it's like side scrolling <coughs> game was good the world was we ruined ruined earth giant machines sandstorms nine out of ten game spot nine ten why did you betray us on a scale of one to ten you're a nine and i'm the one you need there this there's a side scrolling camera 10 on 10 perfect cg magazine shout out to cg magazine oh the missiles the missiles i love the first fight scene the entire uh, oil rig giant oil rig it comes to life see every machine becomes uh, becomes what do you call that sentient and that was the whole moral of the story is that you will if you decide to play if you haven't played this game if you decide to play this game now you will get emotional damage and unless of course you are a cold-hearted emotionless who doesn't care about other people <laughs> so yeah check out all these drawings i all these near automata drawings to be to be my wife man see ya bye bye